I mentioned the Six Nations going into that without Owen Farrell now. I know he's a good mate of yours. And it's almost like bringing up old news, but it's not old news. It's only happened recently and it's such big news, Jamie. And I know that you're going to have an opinion on this and sometimes it's hard as being a teammate and being his mate to talk about it. But it's kind of blown up, not just rugby, it's blown up sport because no one saw that coming because yeah. it's Owen Farrell, because he's bulletproof, because nothing flusters him. Were you surprised or did you kind of, could you feel it coming? Did you see it coming? Um, initial surprise, yes. Like, you know, I know how much it means to him to play for England. He's, he's given his life and soul to that team. But then when I reflect on it as a mate, going through what he's had to go through, like, I don't blame him for doing what he's done. Mm. He's had such a hard time, Jim. And like, he, has. He, uh, he, just needs, he just needs a bit of time to work some stuff out. And like, I am incredibly proud, first and foremost, as a mate, like he's one of my closest mates of him for doing this because of how much I know it means to him to play for England, but he's putting himself first, he's putting his family first. And, you know, it was, he's got an amazing family. He's got two great kids, he's got an amazing wife. You know, he's really, really close with his, with his other family also. Like, it's, uh, it was really tough to see, it was really tough to hear, I spoke to him at depths before it was announced and you know he sort of gave me his reasons as to why and I don't blame him mate yeah, yeah. I, re I really don't blame him because of the heat that he was getting from the media stuff internally you know the social media stuff that he didn't really read too much of but as a player you know it's there mm. you know, you're getting booed getting booed by home fans like that's that's us that was the one That's... that I never picked up. Someone referenced it, and then I didn't really. I didn't pick know it up. either. I didn't know either. But like in my head, like uh, genuinely, Owen's almost like a hero of mine. Like mm. I'm, I genuinely pinch myself playing with him because he is one of the greats of our game. He is probably, if not the best player to have ever played rugby for England. Mm. And like I, in my opinion, and he's my mate, so I'm going to say this, but I, I genuinely believe it. I think that he is probably one of the best sports people that. England has ever produced. Mm. I'm talking like across all sport, in terms of his leadership, how much he's given to the game, how he's transformed a team, his longevity in the game. You know, like he was 21 years old when he first played. And you look at him now and he's grown and matured a huge amount. But yet he's sort of almost seen in a negative light sometimes. Mm. And I find, that, I find that really difficult. I've, I've really struggled to get my head around it. Um, and look, I hope this time away from it now is, is going to be good for him. I know that it will be. I know that he's going to be able to sort of switch off from it all and get away from it all, and it's important for him. And I know that he's going to put a lot of time and effort into this Saris team because he cares about that too. And ultimately, the most important thing is for him to get himself right and, and work some stuff out. And um, we're all going to be behind him and, and give everything that we can to make sure that he is all right.